Hi, good morning. I'm sitting on top of our home in Yerushalayim on the roof overlooking the old city of Yerushalayim. The message of Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, is just, it's all about the way you see things. You know, there's a passage in the Talmud which is absolutely fascinating and beautiful. It compares the whole world with Galgale Noshel Adam to the eye of man. It says that the white of the eye of the oceans of the world, the iris is the dry land, the pupil is Jerusalem. And then it says, Partsuf Shebekomed Zubet Hamidash. The face in the pupil is the Bet Hamidash, is the temple, is the essence of Jerusalem. What does that mean? The face in the pupil is really the essence of Jerusalem. What does it mean? When do we see a face in the pupil? On two daily occurrences. When we look ourselves in the mirror, and then when we look our fellow in the eye. They really both denote the same thing. When we say to somebody, look yourself in the mirror, it means be genuine, be authentic, be real. Don't bluff yourself, don't bluff anybody else. According to, to tradition, mankind actually emanated from this place, from the place where the temple would be built. We face this place, we look to this place three times a day. We come up three times a year in traditional times. Three times a year, three times a day, we face the place where man was created in order to look genuinely about what our lives are about. However, that's not enough. The other everyday occurrence, or should be an everyday occurrence, when we see a face in the pupil is when we look somebody else in the eye. And when we talk about looking somebody in the eye, again, we're talking about honesty, integrity, authenticity. That is one of the essential messages of Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim calls out to us to look genuinely at our fellow man. It doesn't mean we all need to agree. But, you know, the verse in Psalms says, Yerushalayim habunuyaki yishechubalayachdav. Jerusalem we built will be like a city joined together. And the Jerusalem Talmud explains, what does that mean, a city shechubra, a city joined together? It comes from the word chaver. It says, ir shelsa kol yisrael chavirim. This is a city that makes all of the Jewish people chavirim, friends, family. We don't need to agree. There are 70 names of Jerusalem in the same way there are 70 facets to the Torah. Wherever we are in the world, we face this place, but we face from different directions. And of course, we're going to have different perspectives. See the good of Jerusalem. See the good of the Jewish people. We have to look for the good in one another. This week is Yom Yerushalayim, the day that celebrates the return of the Jewish people to Jerusalem after 2,000 years. To me, it's a, it's a painful, painful phenomenon in 2020 that Yom Yerushalayim, in a way, has become a niche day, the domain of a, of a small sector of the Jewish people celebrating the return to Jerusalem. I don't want to get into politics. This isn't about politics or, re or religious politics. Yerushalayim was not divided amongst the tribes. Yerushalayim was shared by everybody. All the Jewish people three times a year came up to Jerusalem. Three times a day we faced Jerusalem. Shlomo Melech King Solomon prayed to God and he said, all of humanity, if they face this place, may their prayers be answered. Yerushalayim is a place that calls, cries out to us, especially at this time, especially at the time where we've all been separated, we've all been divided, we've all been kept at home. As we come out of those homes, as we rejoin society, the call of Yerushalayim to the generation of Yerushalayim, to the first generation to be able to live and work and build Yerushalayim once again, after 2,000 years, is to look with a different perspective, to look oneself in the mirror, to be honest, to be real, to nurture the ability to look one's fellow in the eye with an integrity, with authenticity, with honesty, and to understand that only together can we thrive as a nation and build a better world. And that really is the prophecy of Yerushalayim. They will beat their swords into plowshares, their spears into pruning hooks. 
that out of Zion, out of this place, will come forth a moral law, a code of conduct, a decency, an upright way of being, an authentic, genuine, honest way of being. This is what the whole world is crying out for. This is the knocking on the door. Please God, this Yom Shalayim, this week we should all wake up. Firstly, by looking ourselves in the mirror. And secondly, one by one, looking at those people around us with a different eye, with a different perspective, looking for the good in everybody and moving out and out and out in those concentric circles to the communities beyond our own and looking for the good in them and sharing it with them, looking our fellow man, woman in the eye. And please God, we should, the blessing should come forth from this place and should spread to our families, to our people and to the whole world. Thank you.